Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang Pythagorean Theorem. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, ano ba ang Pythagorean Theorem? So basically, ang nakadiscover ng Pythagorean Theorem ay si Pythagoras. So, applicable to sa lahat ng right triangles. So, let's define the Pythagorean Theorem. So, Pythagorean Theorem. In a right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. So, kung meron ka raw right triangle, kapag in-square mo raw yung length ng hypotenuse, equal yon sa sum ng squares ng bawat legs. So, halimbawa, itong triangle ABC. Di ba ang hypotenuse natin dito ay C, yung opposite ng 90 degree. And then, yung dalawang legs, opposite ng angle A tsaka angle B, which is small a tsaka B. So, pag apply natin yung Pythagorean theorem, sabi, yung square daw ng hypotenuse na C square ay equal dun sa sum ng square ng dalawang legs. Okay, so, A squared plus B squared. So, ito lang yung Pythagorean Theorem. Okay? So, pag sinolve natin ngayon si C, I-squared lang natin yung sum ng squares ng legs. So, A squared of A squared plus B squared. Yan yung C. Now, pwede natin masolve yung bawat legs. Let's say, A squared equal siya sa, transpose natin tong B squared sa kabila. So, magiging C squared minus B squared, right? And then, squared both sides, we have C squared minus B squared. Okay? Same as dun sa B or yung other leg. Square root naman siya ng this time, C squared. Tantas mo mo yung A squared sa kabila. So, minus A squared. So, ito yung mga formula na pwede nating magamit kapag naghahanap tayo ng sides nung right triangle. Okay? Okay, let's solve some applications of Pythagorean theorems. So, number one, we have, How long is the hypotenuse of a right triangle whose legs have lengths 12 and 16? Okay, so, hypotenuse yung pinapahanap. So, C yun, di ba? So, C is equal to square root of A square plus B square. So, ang dalawang legs natin ay 12 tsaka 16. So, yun yung A tsaka B. So, 12 squared plus 16 squared. Okay? So, we have square root of 144 plus 256. So, yung 12 squared tsaka 16 squared equal sa square root of 400, right? And then, square root ng 400 is... 20. So, therefore, the hypotenuse is 20 cm. Okay? Using Pythagorean theorem lang. Next, we have, in triangle PQR, angle Q is a right angle. If PR equals 8 and PQ is 4, find QR. So, since nga yung triangle natin ay merong right angle na angle Q, pwede natin ma-apply yung Pythagorean theorem. So, drawing natin, yung Q daw yung right angle, right? So, lagay natin Q yung right angle. And then, PR. Okay. So, ano yung mga given? If PR is 8, so ano yung PR? Ito yun. Hypotenuse pala yung PR. So, 8. And then, PQ is 4. PQ, ito yun. So, 4. Okay. What is QR daw? Ito. So, apply natin yung Pythagorean theorem. So, di ba itong PR siya yung hypotenuse? So, square nyan is equal to yung square din yung bawat leg. So, PQ squared plus QR squared. Okay? And then, gusto natin si QR, di ba? So, parang yung formula natin kanina, yung kapag legs yung hinahanap, squared siya na yung square nung hypotenuse minus yung square nung isang side. So, transpose mo lang to. So, magiging... PR square minus PQ square. So, okay. substitute mo yung given. So, ano ba yung PR? 8, right? So, 8 square minus yung PQ, 4. So, 4 square. So, we have 8 square is 64 minus 4 square is 16. So, we have square root of 
64 minus 16 is 48. So, QR is square root of 48 or pwede natin tong i-factor na 16 times 3. And then, pwede natin paghiwalayin. 16 times square root of 3. Okay? And then, alam natin tong square root of 16 ay perfect square siya, no? So, it is equal to 4, right? So, therefore, 4 times square root of 3. So, that is QR. Okay? 4 square root of 3. Okay, next we have number 3. Is a triangle whose sides have lengths 8, 10, and 15 a right triangle? So, this time, pinatanong kung pwede bang maging right triangle yung triangle na may given sides na 8, 10, tsaka 15. So, paano yun? Apply natin yung Pythagorean theorem, di ba? Yung C square is equal to A square plus B square. So, dapat mag equal yung C square sa sum ng A square tsaka B square. Itong C square, di ba siya yung hypotenuse? So, therefore, ano yung pinakamalaki dun sa tatlo? 15, di ba? So, yun yung magiging hypotenuse natin, yung 15. Kasi nga, siya yung pinakamalaki, di ba? On automatic, yung dalawang lengths, yung A tsaka 10, legs na yun. So, siya yung A tsaka B. So, A square, so 10 square, let's say, plus B square, so 8 square. Okay? So, pag nag-equal to, then, pasok siya sa right triangle. 15 square is 225. Okay? 10 square is 100, plus 8 square is 64. So, 225 is equal to 100 plus 64, 164. So, hindi. So, therefore, hindi right triangle yung triangle na to na may lengths na 8, 10, tsaka 15. Kasi hindi equal yung C square sa A square plus B square. Okay? Okay, number 4, we have a rectangular gate whose dimensions are 3 meters by 2 meters is to be braced with a steel by connecting opposite corners. How long must the steel be? So, para ma-visualize natin, draw tayo ng rectangle. Okay? So, di ba lahat nung uh, gilid ay 90 degree for rectangle? Tapos, yung dimension daw ay 3 meters by 2 meters. So, yung 3 meters, siya yung length. And yung 2 meters, siya yung width. So, ito yung length, di ba? Tapos, ito yung width. So, therefore, L is 3. And width is 2. Okay, then, magko-connect daw ng brace with the steel. By connecting the opposite corners. So, ano ba yung mga opposite corners? Ito, tsaka ito, diba? Tapos, ito, tsaka ito. So, consider natin tong opposite corner na to. Ito raw yung magiging brace, diba? So, ngayon, ang tanong, how long daw yung steel na yon? So, ito yung tinatanong, anong length nito? Diba, obviously, nakabuo tayo ng ano, right triangle, diba? Ito. Right triangle yan, diba? With legs, 3, tsaka... 2, kasi ito yung right angle. So, therefore, yung hypotenuse, yung length ng steel. So, apply natin yung Pythagorean theorem. So, let's say, ito yung C, ito yung A, ito yung B. So, C is equal to square root of A square plus B square using Pythagorean formula. So, A square I 3 squared plus B square is 2 squared. Okay, so, therefore, 3 square is 9 plus... 2 square is 4. So, we have square root of 9 plus 4 is 13. So, so, therefore, the length of the steel must be square root of 13 meter. Okay? So, yun lang yung Pythagorean theorem. The sum of the squares of the legs is equal to the squares of the hypotenuse. So, gamitin talaga yung Pythagorean theorem kapag nag analyze tayo ng right triangle. Okay? So, that's it for the topic Pythagorean Theorem. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.